Hello, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Pound Star Oracle. I'm Pam. Uh, nice to meet y'all. I hope you're all doing good. I had a little reading pulled out here. I'm going to read it for you all today. Hopefully, it'll connect with a few of you out here. That's, that's my mission. That's what I hope I can do. If you're new, hopefully I can give you something. You'll hit subscribe. Hit hit that bell and hit subscribe. And and it'll say, would you like to be notified of every time this person uploads? Just go ahead and hit that button and push all. And every time I upload, you'll be notified. But sometimes you just need to go check in there, you all. Sometimes I have four or five readings uploaded in one day. I want you all to be aware of this. And this week, I probably had eight or ten readings. So look at my playlist uh, all my people that subscribe to me because I don't think y'all seen them all. All right. They're all in there. I've been putting them in there. All right. Well, I love y'all. Let's get into it. Uh, somebody is having nostalgia for you out here at the moment. And um, they, it, they feel sad and in grief. They're missing you. Uh, they they want to reach out to you. Uh, the the they 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 feel miserable without you they're they're aware of how much they love you and they they just they just love you and they miss you and and uh somebody is trapped in guilt and you know guilt can creep in when you least expect it worrying if you gave the right advice or if you taught your kids uh if what you if you taught them was the correct way, or feeling guilty over a Python, and you not being there at the end of their life, or just remember all of us people will feel this at one point in our life, and it's okay, you know. And whoever they somebody feeling guilty for doing something to you, and this bitch is getting her payback good. Ooh, somebody's getting her payback good, <laughs> and. Uh, it could be could be another content creator getting their payback, and and this content creator in my collective, uh, we're serving humanity with humility, and of uh, others of us, that's what we do, that's what we do, and and uh, somebody got paid a narc off to befriend you, so they paid a narc drug addict. Are you listening? Yeah, the the law pays these narcs like. You know, uh, 150 or 200 dollars, and to go uh, buy drugs, and that's what they did. They paid a dark off, and and it says out with the truth. Now you know you was trying to set me up, you little bitch. Tell the truth. Oh, this is a bitch girl getting her payback. Are you listening? It could be a bitch guy, but usually it's it's usually it's a girl. You know, because that's how a lot of these men. These narcissists calls us bitches. 311. They put cameras up to spy on you. This narc friend that come in your fucking house and you probably bought drugs from, they they put cameras on you to spy, and then they went around spreading lies and tales on you. But they was doing this just to boost their own ego. Uh, but... I don't know why it boosts people's egos to make fun and talk and tell lies on people. That shit pisses me off. And somebody needs to keep both eyes on the prize. It's some man who has his eyes on this high honor woman. Ooh, yeah. Somebody's friend got their eyes on this high honor woman now. And you're going to receive high honors from your happy haters. From always happiness haters around that wants to kill your happiness. And you're somebody that's filled with passion and desire. And you need to have something that is only yours. And make your desires a business and build it ba big, baby. That's what I'm telling you guys, okay? You're, oh, that's that's uh, that's why all these happy haters. Because they see your business growing, you know. And you're keeping your eyes on your prize. They're, they're sad and depressed that they can't stop making you serve humanity that's what it is and you can't me i'm a hum i'm a humanitarian i'm an aquarius and somebody's mom didn't give him the correct way of loving like she should have and this guy's in a loveless relationship so that's a narcissist 
and some and this narcissist wants to bury you. He they wants to bury you and me out there, and somebody's going to come crawling on their knees to you. They want you to forgive them for all their shady ass dealings. Oh, they must have broke your heart seventy eight fucking times. Uh, that'll help you figure out who it is, okay? Person that gets your uh, guidance from the stars because you're down Egyptian lineage, and and you, they was. They was trying to block your path. Your path was blocked to uh, serving humanity with humility because they locked onto your channel or something. And you, you're going to you're going to cook a great hot meal. Ooh, it's true woman. A true woman believes her man when he speaks to her. She's filled with goodness and grace, and practices forgiveness with her unwavering faith. That's a point by me, Pamela. Ooh, God's. You such a good cook. That's what Divine Mask one says now. And somebody's kids out here got taken from you because all the drug use and fighting that's going on between you and this person. So somebody lost about four or five kids. Maybe they just, if it's a mommy, maybe they, the, uh, they went to the dad or maybe they got taken from mommy and daddy and then they're in the system now. But you was bound and tied with this man at one point. <laughs> I don't know who that's for. It ain't for me. I wrote that for some people. It's on my channel, okay? So don't get mad if it ain't you. It ain't you. But somebody did lost their kids to uh, the system or to their fathers or some shit. I don't know. But uh, go get your gun, girl. Ooh. You was targeted by this group of people because they thought you could be bullied your entire lives. And Spirit said, hell no, wrong. They, they And Spirit give you the strength to maybe pull your gun on a masked person that was coming around your truck like they did me. Yeah. They was trying to steal me. And right before I quit work, people was saying like, Pam, what would you do if you had a lot of money? And I was like, well, I'd sure help people that deserved it. I wouldn't help people that didn't fucking deserve it. Why was they saying all this, you all? See, I don't know. But I keep hearing a lot of different readers saying something. And I wonder if that was me. Because, yeah, it was a bunch of fucking people, you all. Probably eight or twelve of the motherfuckers. Are you listening? Yeah. Like, the whole community was against me. That's why I set my fat ass down right here. You know it? Because Spirit said, sit down, sit down. That's where you're supposed to be. Sit down. Tell what they did. And he says she is sad that you didn't come together. This person makes you feel like you're a kid still. You all play around like a puppy or kitty, and you have little wrestling matches, and you just play. <laughs> you don't even really do that. You just, this is a puppy love and kitty love. That's what it is. <laughs> Excuse me. They're sad you didn't come together. Uh, they want to marry you. Spirits is guiding you to this. Your Indian lineage is guiding you to this marriage. Okay. They're sad y'all didn't get married yet. And they know that uh, this devil worshiper is trying to get you to fall for him. And I said, hey, y'all don't tread on me. No, don't tread on me. No, you can't tread on me. Deceased dad is helping somebody out here who ha it says, after all you put me through, I've learned to put energy into myself. So someone's deceased dad is helping you to put energy into yourself and get away from this person. This person that wants to bury you and they don't even love you in this relationship. And and this man has a heart of stone. You can pour out all your love to this person, but they can't open up like you do, this man or woman. Oh, and, oh, and maybe they sexually harassed you, whoever this person is that's got a heart of stone. <laughs> And then it says up here, it says, uh, you're leading others to their dreams and spirit is proud of you and thankful of your gifts that you share with others. Oh, they thank you for it. And I thank you all. And I love you. And I hope I can help steer us. And you've and me, we've learned a many things on this path, ain't we? Yes, we sure have. And I'm teaching us right now that you need to get you some lavender, dove lavender. That's what I use you all. And put you that pink salt on it that old pink that old himalayan salt that you use to cook with if i buy at walmart you all equate it's it's like four dollars and it's a big thing i just keep it in the shower and i put it on my dove dish 
my Dove Body Wash Lavender. And uh, it says she's a sunflower, strong and bold and true to herself. She's sunshine mixed with a little hurricane. I got that off the internet. And uh, it didn't say by anybody. Uh, I believe it was by unknown, but it's saying, you know, go outside and get you some sunlight today and use you some lavender, like I just said. <sighs> oh, and right here it said, confess to yourself all your wrongdoings and shady dealings so you can grow into the good person you're meant to be. And then you can go out and about and feel good in life again. Like I just said, go outside and get you some sunlight today. And somebody says, don't call me anymore. Somebody said, don't call me anymore. And they're going to have to go to a preliminary hearing over a case of obsession on you. Somebody in my collective. So, uh, somebody's obsessed with you and, uh, you're saying, don't. Quit fucking calling me all the time. And somebody wants you to bail them out of jail or bail them out of their fucking uh, trouble. And it's, it was this man that was offering you up on a platter to your ops. He's son of a bitch. Now they want you to bail them out of their mess. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I wouldn't if I was you all. And, and this shit's too close for comfort. You had to stand up to these boys and show them that they can't knock you off your life path. <laughs> That's what seven of ones means. Oh, uh, and it so, uh, something was too close for comfort. These people just kept they they got comfortable with bullying you. That's what it means. And you, cause you are a loving person and intuitive, and you let them shit all over you like I have in my life. And you're very loyal and dedicated, hardworking women out here. And this is a good one of mine. And I and I like this drawing I did. And I hope y'all love my poem I wrote. It says, I, it says, I look out beyond the maple tree and wish for you, my love, that you'll come to me and just break free. And lovers, you and me will be for all those to see. Oh, do you like this poem? I draw a lot like a picture frame and I draw like, you know, a little mirror thing where you sit. This is like the windows open and you're looking outside through that old maple tree. Is that pretty? Uh -huh. One, two, three, four. Okay. So somebody is, is looking, looking out to you. They wish for you. They wish that you'll come to the own loyal, dedicated, hardworking woman. Gosh, they want to marry you. They're sad that y'all ain't come together yet. They want to be bound and tied down with you. Uh, they want to be close and feel comfort with you. They miss you big. They miss you big. And they want to serve humanity with humility with you. And... um. They're saying, keep both eyes on the prize, baby, because you're going to receive high honors from your happy haters that are out and about right now. And you're saying, hey, y'all better stop treading on me. Deceased dad said, quit, quit treading on this, this woman that knows how to cook good and stop trying to block her down pipe. She's helping you all with all the things that she's had to learn. She's telling you to use lavender, and somebody needs to go get your gun, girl. Make sure you have it. But but this person, you're saying, stop calling me. They want you to bail them out of this sexual harassment. Huh? You're saying, don't call me anymore. They're just wanting you to bail them out because they know that they want it to bury you, and now they're getting buried because they're going to have to go to court over sexual harassment. I love that spirit. And, uh, this person's heart is hard and they didn't care to do all this shit to you because their mommy didn't give them the correct kind of love. That's why they're a narcissist and they put cameras in your house and they paid a narc off to befriend you. And now this bitch, woman or man, they're getting their payback good now for fucking with this loyal and dedicated, hardworking woman over here. Yeah, that's what it said now. And it is so true. It is so true. And, uh, 
and they're they're crying and feeling guilty for fucking with you content creator they know the truth has come out on your channel and they know that they're just trying to boost their ego they didn't want you to build a business and make it and that's why your spirits guided you you know and your spirits is telling you that um You had to stand up to these bullies and that you do have a true love that yearns for you daily. And this group of people that targeted you, they got to go uh, to a case of a session on you, these ops that was serving you up daily. And uh, spirits telling them they better confess to you their wrongdoing and try to make it right all their shady ass dealings and stop being sad and, and, and living trapped in guilt and come to the surface with it. And uh, ain't no devil worse for fall, getting me to fall for no down body. And uh, I, I, I know how to put energy into myself. That's why, you know, I'm a little sunshine mixed with a little hurricane. I, I'm a true woman. I do get my guidance from the stars. I do have Egyptian lineage. I, I believe it. Uh, I haven't linked it. Like, I actually, through DNA, I just, I, I've linked it through visions and things I've had, you all. And some of these kids out here, they got taken calls. You had to grow up from drug life. And once you put in all the work and effort, you can get your children back. And I hope y'all do out here and be a good leader for them children. That's what I'm telling you guys, because... I raised my kids, and sometimes I didn't do the right, correct way, but I did raise them, and they're both, and they both work every day, you all. They both got real good jobs, and, and I love them, and, and I'm thankful that they didn't uh, turn to drugs, because they know they've seen all the damn hell and shit it caused in my family, because I was always honest to them about it, and I'm thankful, and I love my children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. I do, 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 do. I might do these at some puzzle time today. I ain't did it in a while. I miss it, you guys. I like doing this. I like doing them. Spirit, who is, what do you want to tell us today in Egyptian puzzle time? Hang on, you guys. Spirit wants to tell us something in Egyptian puzzle time. It says R-U-G, rug. Look. Rug, R-U-G. Not unless it throws out another U and then it would be guru, but it's saying rug right now. Rug. Somebody wanted to bury you. Remember what it said a while ago? They wanted to bury you in 18, 18, 99. They wanted to bury you and roll you up in a rug. Rugs with a Z. I'm going to put it up our rugs. Spirit, what, are you, what else about this rugs? What else about this person trying to kill us? N-E. N-E-G. Gin. S sang. What are you trying to, that was an X. What are you trying to spell, Spirit? J B J B U M. I'm trying to see what it's spelling, y'all. S. 
S E Oh, I know what it's saying now, I see. Sorry, you all. Sometimes it might take a minute. You're their muse, M-U-S-E. This is about retribution, compensation, and satisfactory changes, opportunity for ascension. Organize, chastity, and maternity, feminine, Protection, keeper of home and honor, <coughs> uh, reciprocity, a rivalry in love, new affections, dealings with precision, lasting alliances, increasing of prosperity, progress, happy contingencies. So, I mean, you have a communion with an equal. Uh, you know how to give and receive. You're a keeper of home and honor and um, you're going to be compensated. It's saying you're getting ready to be compensated, muse. And rugs, how spirit spelled it. This is gaining alms, satisfactory definitions in the end, rewards, inheritance. <laughs> uh, this was an act of initiation, embarrassing situations, a confusing idea. Alarms, melancholy, sadness. They still missing you, see? Uh, uh, they're missing you, but they feel uncertain. Do not seek in others for what is in thee, nor seek in thee for what is in others. Delays, obstacles, contritaries, mysteries to be solved, and science to solve them. So, uh, this uncertainty has brought grief. This is about attaining success and being uh, generous. Now, let me finish seeing what else it's trying to say. So, then we have N-B-G-N-T-A-X, tax. Oh, somebody's getting ready to be tax, taxed, T-A-X. Get ready to receive a tax. Promises powerful friends the necessity of their help. Uh, this is about extreme passion, animosity, success, and love. Uh, criticisms. Fights against people of status. Ooh. So, there's getting ready to be a fight against people of status. Can you spell what else? LCP. Somebody who might have like a LLC is getting taxed. E. H B. Can we have some vowel spirit? Can we have some vowel spirit? Another P. Hang on, I'm gonna find the vowels. Here's a A. So I got all the vowels. Let me see what it's trying to spell. <laughs> what are you trying to spell, spirit? I made a bet on you. 
B-E-T. Somebody made a bet on you. This is about uh, interior purification, sufferings, mysterious dangers, uh, undergoing a transformation, evolving, uh, distributing grace and mercy. Somebody bet that they could muse your tax with rugs. I don't know what it's saying right now, but we'll figure out in a minute how. What are you spelling, spirit? Hang on, let me get some uh, letters like this so I can see what it's trying to say, you guys. I see puppy, but I'm trying to see if it'll spell something else. Spirit, what are you trying to spell? P. What would you spell? Puppy? P-Q. Spirit. P-Q-B-H. I should have just tried to spell something. J. Yeah, it ain't spelling shit like that. Something about a gun. G U N. Oh, they made a bet on you that you wouldn't have a gun. <laughs> That's funny, ain't it? But you had a gun, probably, if you're like me. Did you have a gun like me? <laughs> oh, that's what I Copy. Uh, muse. Copy. They're copying something. They made a bet. Uh, let me just... I'm not going to finish it. Hang on. I'll read it in a second. What are you trying to say with this, spirit? They thought it would be fun to take a jab at it. A jab at fucking with you. Hear me? <laughs> Don't last as they tell on herself. Okay. <laughs> Somebody's got the heel. The HIV. The heel. Oh. Jab. They jabbed herself so much they got the heel. Ha 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 ha. dick. <laughs> 29, 29, twin flame. I'm in love with you. Can you tell? Oh, somebody's got the heel, and their name might be Joe. Because I see J O right here. That's why I said Joe. J O. 
I might have the heel of a HIV or Joe's getting ready to be PO. P -O. <laughs> What are you trying to spell, Spirit? Hell, y'all, it still ain't spelled. What are you trying to spell? L. Why? Right up here is copy. This was it was spelling jolly. They're trying to copy your jolly nature. C J O L L Y J O L L and I got the Y right here with copy. They're trying to copy and mimic all of your sayings and doings and just any motherfucking thing they can do to be like you. They try to be it, and spirits, spirits watching them, and this cop is watching the old copy. <laughs> they think I joke about cops over here. You better mind your P's and Q's, P's and Q's. That's why PQ come out in two ends. I just laid them back on the top, see, two ends. Better watch your, better mind your P's and Q's out here. You know, I don't know what that means, but. You better cross your T's and dot your I's, your P's and Q's. <coughs> uh, so what it's saying is... This person thought that it would be f uh, funny to be your muse. Like, uh, they're, they're, they're trying to, uh, copy every motherfucking thing you do. They, they're trying to copy your jolly, but, um, somebody wanted to kill you with a gun. They want, and they wanted to jab you with a needle that had HIV in it, and... Something about, I guess, kill you and roll you up in a rugs and roll you up in a rug. Better mind your P's and Q's out here and pay attention. <laughs> I mean, that might not make sense to somebody, but somebody it does out here. Somebody got jabbed with HIV. Got jabbed with a HIV dick. Are you listening? Somebody got jabbed with a HIV dick out here. Huh? Uh... And uh, they they got jabbed with the HIV gun. Are you listening? With a with a man's HIV gun. Somebody, oh, whoever this person is that loves to copy you and your jolly nature, saying me and my jolly nature. That's what it's saying right now. Thirty three, thirty three. We're manifesting the life we want. They're trying to be your muse, and they they bet they could uh, get get you taxed this dumb bitch something about rugs and that's all i know and hopefully it helps somebody i don't know but ain't nobody jabbing we have no damn hiv over here no no we don't want no hiv bet bet that you don't give it to me bet you don't give it to a chosen one bet you can't bet bet you can't Oh, and during the waning crescent is the last lunar phase before we return to the new moon's joyous gifts of possibility and new beginnings. The phase takes the moon from 49.9% lit on its left side all the way down to 0.1% lit. During this time, you may feel energy waning. As this phase closes the lunar cycle, it is a perfect time to surrender, reflect, and take care of anything that needs your attention. 
or release before welcoming the new moon. People born in this phase are typically imaginative and spiritual. So maybe, you know, somebody that's imaginative and spiritual and their name is Estrella. <laughs> That's funny. Named after the Greek goddess of justice. I know what, uh, that's why I just said that. After the Greek goddess of justice, this asteroid represents good judgment and can bring clarity to how you stick to your commitments and make decisions aligned with your values and beliefs. Estrella also brings light through in times of challenge. Where this asteroid appears in your astrology chart emphasizes your ability to stay with your goals and endure difficult moments in your life with hope and faith throughout the process. So, you know, you just keep the hope and faith alive throughout this whole process. You, you, you're you somebody that has good clarity and good judgment. And and uh, you stick with your goals. And uh, you're very imaginative and spiritual. And spirit loves you. And I love you guys and gals right here. And I hope that helps somebody. And I'm tired. I'm going to bed. It's 12-something. You guys and I love you. And I hope y'all go after your goals and dreams. That's what I'm trying to get you to do. And pay attention to what that message said. Something might help you. And I don't know what part. But only you all will know. And I love you guys. And pieces.